Hello, welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest 7. In the last episode, we defended Castle Faraday from the Mechon or the Automaton attacks. Uh, we would have lost too had it not been for this pink Mechon here that was causing some kind of disruptive wave to uh, make the Mechon attack each other and uh, do all kinds of crazy things. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, they were close. So we're going to take the fight to them, finally. What? <laughs> wow, this guy is a jerk. Uh, no, I have no idea, man. Not be- oh, really? Not made by humans, huh? Extremely powerful magical being. Not a friendly one. Oh yeah, not that the program to wipe out humanity, not that it bothers this guy, of course. Yeah. Now you ever see uh that one Doctor Who episode, The Robots of Death? There's a character in um there's a character in that episode that uh this guy totally reminds me of. Like, hates humans, is in love with robots and machines. Fuck, man. Can't you guys just get together? Why do I have to run back and forth between you guys all the time? You gonna say the same crap? <laughs> okay, shut up, man. Shut up. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. You're a jerk.
right, so we gotta defeat the commander. And we should be good to go. Give him a good bludgeoning. Or a good smashing. Eternal life, huh? So that's what this guy's searching for. Ellie? Oh, okay, so he renamed, like, instead of that robot that he had in his, um, in his shack out in the wilderness or whatever, he decided to. I, I'm guessing Ellie is uh, the name of his girlfriend or whatever that died. Yeah, this cure for wrinkles would be nice too. Have they got cream for that kind of thing? Take it easy on each other here, man. Yeah, this is a good idea as long as they pay us. God, this guy's gonna write a song for us. Oh. Well, you got no comment on the song this time. I think it's that same bard that was writing or singing music before. Everybody's like, ah, it's terrible. Thank you. 
Yeah, I didn't. I can't remember if we needed to stop by Frobisher first, but I don't remember. I don't think so. Yep, let's do it. I like the ones that just spin in circles. <laughs> Alright, time to take care of business. Maximum power. Yeah, the, uh, the waves are not penetrating into the base, so we're going to have to fight in here. we got to fight regular enemies, too. Yeah, Baby Goyle is a new enemy. Um, I believe they like to use Ice Breath on you, or it's either Ice Breath or Fire Breath. I don't remember which one, but yeah, they kind of stink. I'm going to prioritize killing him. Kifa level up. Yeah, I think at level 12 he learns uh, muster strength or whatever the hell it's called. Maribel learned Dazzle. Oh yeah, the boss, I'm pretty sure he's not susceptible to Dazzle either. Can't sap him, can't dazzle him. Friggin' sucks, man. Now in this dungeon, there's a few fixed battles that you're gonna wanna do. Fact, let me uh, heal up.
Yeah, like this one right here, I think is a fixed battle that you kind of have to do. Or I'm gonna do it anyways. Come on, man. I don't know if the success rate of that is determined by the level of the character. Ow! What the fuck? Yeah, these guys are no joke, man. They are tough. Yeah, then you got these guys. Walking corpses. Classic undead. Yeah, this one right here, I believe you have to... Oh wait, he just unlocks it for you, okay. Never mind, I was thinking you had to like beat him up or something. Small snaps are pretty easy though. Just annoying that Kiefer and Vet's agility is pretty fucking terrible right now. Strength seed and an iron shield. All right. Now the interesting thing about the iron shield, yeah, pretty good shield for vet. Kiefer can also equip it. Uh, I believe it nullifies uh, five points of fire and ice damage from spells. So it's pretty good in that regard, I guess. Well, it says fire and ice based attacks. I don't know if that's like breath attacks or spells. I think it's spells. Or maybe it's both. I'm not entirely positive. And oh yeah, that's scale shield. Lots of lag. Yeah, I don't know why it lags in the menus. Minor annoyance, but not a big deal. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to heal up everybody because... I want everybody to be topped off before we go down here. It's going to be kind of a tough enemy we're going to be fighting. Yeah, this chest is our first candy box. 
These guys can critical hit quite a bit and they can fucking wipe you out. Uh, they are susceptible to sap. Don't know if they're susceptible to dazzle. They 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 might be. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that um, lose a turn skills do not work on this guy. Uh, I think you can get put paralysis on these guys, but I don't have any attacks to do that. So whatever, let's just attack. I don't mind Sue's. As long as he's not using his physical attacks. Yeah, I'm going with bang. Let's go all out. Yeah, you can do sizz, that's not gonna bother me. There we go. But yeah, those guys are pretty tough. Here we get 250 gold. Yeah, this run is just going to be to get treasure and level up. I'm probably not going to fight the boss in this video because I want to make sure that I'm going to be strong enough because this next boss we're going to be facing. First of all, we're going to be facing two bosses. Second of all, the second boss that you that you face is fucking hard. I mean, he's really hard. I mean, he's got like extremely high defense. Um, yeah, you, you wanna you wanna be leveled up, probably like level thirteen, level fourteen. Hmm, that one doesn't want to attack. Don't notice us. guys are pretty much required, so let's get rid of them. I just want to use Bang on him, but she just doesn't, she doesn't have enough MP. Come on, man, that never works. I'm just getting really unlucky with that. I think it worked a lot more on the PlayStation version. Ow. How are you still alive? You should be dead. Yeah, if you go up there, it's the boss. I'm going to try to get the treasure here. 100 gold, and more importantly, we get a red fragment. Yeah. Hmm. Now we have no idea what any of this stuff is, huh? It's all very mysterious. Yeah, if this were any other point in the game, <laughs> I wouldn't be trying to level up right now. I'd just be, you know, trying to fight the boss. But 
This is a special kind of boss. Yeah, the first boss is pretty easy, actually. It's just the second boss that's a pain in the ass. Show off a few more battles and I'll probably just end the video then because there's really no point show me showing all these battles. I'm gonna be doing this for a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I've been playing the Dragon Quest VIII uh, port on the 3DS, and uh, so far I'm really, really liking a lot of the changes they made to it. Yeah, it's to a point now where I can kind of almost run it, like, full speed, but not really. I mean, there's still a lot of, like, slowdown and stuff like that, but it's at least playable. It's tolerable to play. And, uh... Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of new stuff, man. One thing I noticed with Angelo, when you start leveling him up when he joins the party, he gets more skill points. When you first get him and he starts leveling up, he'll get like two or three skill points. The first level he gets, he gets like eight skill points. Next one he gets like ten. I was like, holy shit! You mean I can actually get skill points for Angelo earlier so I can get multi-shot earlier? Yeah, it was freaking awesome, man. I'm like, I got multi-shot before level 20 with Angelo. It was pretty awesome, man. So, yeah, there's a lot of differences. And the reason why I bring this up is there was this one guy who was uh, talking to me like I'm stupid. Like, on my, on my PlayStation 2 videos of Dragon Quest State. You know, like, one of the best monster teams in that game is My Three Golems. Please tell me that, oh, well, there's better monster teams than My Three Golems. I was like, what are you talking about, man? That's, like, the best one. Like, anything you can, you want to do at the end of the game, you can do with My Three Golems. He's like, no, there's a, there's an extra rank in the, in the thing. I'm like, dude, this isn't the 3DS version, you fucktard. He's like, it's exactly the same. I'm like, no, it's not. No, it's not. This fuck the 3DS version is way different. You got like an extra, what is that, extra dungeon? You got the Hall of Memories or whatever it is. There's a ton of extra content. So don't give me this bullshit about, oh, it's exactly the same, because it's not. I've noticed a ton of differences. I'm only, I've only played up until like, what, Pick'em? And I've already noticed a ton of them. The most glaring one so far, obviously, uh, being um, Angelo and the skill point gains. And then they got that uh, that picture mini game or whatever it is. Where you got to go around and take pictures. Pretty worth it, actually, if you're gonna give me uh, skill seeds. Yeah, man, once that game uh, starts running a little bit better on my computer, once the emulator gets a little bit better and shit, then uh, I'll make another LP of that game, man. There's a ton of extra bosses. There's two new party members. Hell yeah, man. But yeah, it's to the point now where I can at least play it so I can test it out. Because I don't want to, I don't want to do a playthrough of it completely blind now. 
Because again, there's a lot of changes. And I think after this battle, I'll probably end it. But yeah, Drag Quest 11. I can't wait for that to come out. It's going to be amazing. And then I'm getting it for PC. I mean, it's even more amazing that it's coming out for PC because um, if they do release the soundtrack for the game in MIDI format, um, I I'm, imagine the Steam community will probably put together some kind of patch so you can put the uh, orchestrated music in the game, which would be amazing as well. Because, yeah, I don't think they're going to put the orchestrated music in the game this time around due to licensing issues. I, I think Sugiyama, he just wants, I don't know, the guy's like almost 90, but yet he's like, he still wants money, I guess. I don't know. If I was that old, I wouldn't give it, even give a shit. But then again, maybe he's got grandkids and all that kind of shit. And great-grandkids. <laughs> Probably got great-grandkids considering how old he is. I mean, fuck. But yeah, I mean, from what I've heard of the Dragon Quest XI soundtrack, it's it's good. Um, I wouldn't say it's as good as, like, you know, like this game or Dragon Quest VIII or Dragon Quest V or a lot of the older soundtracks, but it's it's still very, very good from what I've heard. Even the MIDI's good. And I don't get me wrong, I mean, if there isn't a patch, I'll still play it with the MIDI. But, I mean, if I can put the, sound, uh, the orchestrated tracks in there instead I'm totally gonna do it but uh, anyways I'm gonna level up a little bit more and uh, we'll be taking on the boss in the next episode see you next time bye bye